parity check and generator matrices. So here the encoding and decoding functions are given by the matrices over Z2. That means your matrices are the binary matrices. So one of the matrices will help to locate the nearest code word for a given received word. And this will helpful when set C of code words is larger. So if you have more code words, then this method will be helpful. So suppose I consider that the generator matrix or G matrix is given by the 100, 110, 010, 011, 011, 011. It is a 3 by 6 matrix over Z2. So here the first three columns, if you observe, it is an identity matrix which is written here as I3. And the second matrix, let us denote it by the matrix A. So, A will be the last three columns of the G matrix. So, now this G, I can write it as I3 concatenated by A. That is, first write I3 matrix, which is an identity matrix of uh, 3 cross 3, followed by this A matrix to denote this structure. So, this partition of G is called as a generator matrix. Now, we use G to define the encoding function E, which converts this 3-bit binary data into 6-bit as follows. So, suppose if you consider W belongs to Z2 raised to 3, encoding function is obtained by multiplying the word by the generator matrix, which is the element in Z2 raised to 6, obtained by multiplying W considered as a 3-dimensional row vector. So, your W is considered as a three dimensional row vector that is three column three column with one row vector by g on its right so in the calculation we consider that 1 plus 1 is 0 that is 1 plus 1 is 2 modulo 2 and it is not considered as 1 plus 1 is 1 so suppose you see an example suppose what is the uh, code word for 110 that is encryption of 110 produces 6 bits so how it is used here is 110 multiplied by g, g so 110 and this is my g matrix so what you are supposed to do here is you have to perform the multiplication bit by bit so here this row and this column so 1 into 1 1 plus 1 into 0 0 plus 0 into 0 so you will get 1 next is 1 into 0, 0 plus 1 into 1, 1 plus 0 into 0, so it is 1. Next is 1 into 0, 0 plus 1 into 0, 0 plus 0 into 1, 0. So likewise, if you do the multiplication, so next bit will be 1 plus 0 plus 0, so it is 1. Next is 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 into 1 is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 0 so next is 1 into 0 is 0 plus 1 into 1 is 1 plus 0 into 1 is 1 so this is the 6 bit code word for the message 110 so likewise for 101 it is obtained by multiplying 101 by g so which is this message. Note that E of 110 is obtained by, if you observe this E of 110, so this message is obtained by adding, by adding the first rows, first two rows of G. So, 110 encryption is obtained by adding the first two rows, that is 0 plus 1, 1 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. Next, uh, you can observe that the encryption of 0, 1, 0 is the second row itself. <coughs> the set of code words is obtained by this method will be, that is, uh, if you, if the message is 0, 0, 0, then you will be getting the code word as 000. If the message is uh, 010, then 010, then that will be your second row. So that is, if your message is 3-bit message, you can have 000, 
so whose code word will be zero next is zero zero one for zero zero one what will be the code word so the code word will be the last row if the message is zero one zero the code word will be the second row if the message is one zero zero the code word will be the first row now for the code word uh, for the message 101 one is obtained by adding the first row and the last row for the message 110 i can obtain the code word by adding the first and second row for the message 111 i can add all the three columns all the three rows and get the code word so if you are going on doing this encryption in this fashion so you get the set of code words which are 0000, 0, 0, 0 and uh, first row second row third row and by adding two rows you get three by adding three rows you get this message so which belongs to z2 rise to 6 so one can obtain the corresponding message by dropping the last three components of the code word so the message uh, for 000 the code word is 00 for 100 the code word is 100 followed by 110 so for the code word 010 the code uh, message 010 the code word will be 010 followed by 011 so likewise by dropping the last three bit i can get the decrypted message so and in addition the minimum distance between the code words here is 3 so we can write this 3 as a 2 plus 1 so we can detect the errors of weight less than or equal to 2 and this 3 can be written as 2 into 1 plus 1 where uh, k is equal to 1 so we can correct single bit error now for all w belongs to w1 w2 w3 belongs to z2 raised to 3 the encryption of w will be 6 bits w1 w2 w3 w4 w5 w6 uh, which belongs to z2 raised to 6 so now since e of w is equal to w1 w2 w3 multiplied by this matrix which is g matrix then you can observe that the first bit is w1 w2 w3 because it is i multiplied by the identity matrix then the next bit that is fourth bit is obtained by w1 plus w3 fifth bit by w2 plus w1 the sixth bit by w2 plus w3 so these are my parity check equations so w4 equals w1 plus w3 w5 equals w1 plus w2 w6 equals to w2 plus w3 so these are called as parity check equation and we know that in z2 so wi is equal to minus wi therefore we can write the equation this each of these equations as w1 plus w3 plus w4 equal to 0 then this one I can write it as W1 plus W2 plus W5 equals to 0 and this I can write it as W2 plus W3 plus W6 is equal to 0. This I can write only because in binary WI is equal to minus WI. So therefore we find that the matrix for this equations will be 110. So the W1 is here. Here there is no W1 so it is 110. Then 0, 11, then 101 then 100 0, 011 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, h into r transpose is a 0 0 0 so if you have received r whose uh, h into r transpose is 0 it means it is a code word therefore by writing h as b into i3 we denote b is equal to a transpose so this h matrix is used for the decoding function so suppose we receive r equal to 110110 now we want to find whether it's code word C is the, what is the code word C that is the nearest neighbor of R. If there is a long list of code words against which 
to check our V first examine our H into R transpose. So this H into R transpose is called as a syndrome of R. So suppose you find for this message, then it is this H matrix is a transpose that is if you have been given with a generator matrix then that generator matrix I should write it as I3 into A then A transpose will be my B which is here this is a transpose of A followed by the identity matrix so this by this will be my H matrix so H into R transpose so that is you have made this uh, row matrix into column matrix now if you find the product of this so you can see that this is 1 into 1, 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0. So you have 1 plus 1 which is 0. Next similarly if you multiply this second row with the column then you will get 1. And if you multiply the third row with this column you will get 1. So which means that this 0 1 1 is not equal to 0 0 so it means that there is some error in the received message then how to identify which bit has been flipped so you compare this 0 1 1 with the columns of the h matrix so this 0 1 1 matches with the second column you can see it is matching with the second column if you flip this second bit of the received message so what i get is the correct code word so r is not a code word because it's not zero so hence we detect the error looking at the list of code words we see that for one one zero the message uh, is with the r the distance of this with r is one so here the syndrome if you see this is a syndrome zero one one it matches the second column so by flipping the second bit of r so that is by flipping the second bit of this received message, I will get the correct code word that is 100110. So by discarding the last three bits, this last three bits, I will be getting the decoding word as 100. So we will continue in the next video with more examples. Thank you.